Volume 3 Chapter 6 The Different World Pharmacy Marseille Factories Operation Preparation A carrier pigeon arrived to Falma who was carrying out his different world pharmacy's regular business together with the news he had been waiting for. The pharmaceutical factory in Marseille was finally completed. It's built so quickly. Falma had believed that he would wait for years, but the result was it was completed after half a year it had started. Falma Kuhn, you're a young master so it's different. Also, the empire and the temple's investments were huge too. Ellen somewhat awed by Falma would gather everything he needs using the assets he earned himself without even relying on the assets of his family. But even though he was like that, he would not use most of his money for his own individual entertainment. Ellen analyzes that his unselfishness gathered more and more supporters and worshippers. Within the world where many nobles spend all their time to fatten their pockets, Palma showed a surprising unselfishness. He was not a child who was clueless about the world, one that just doesn't know how to increase his fortune. What are you going to make in the factory? Sweet. Lot covered her mouth that almost spout out, sweets. It looks like it was an involuntary comment. It's not sweets. It's medicine. Falma smiled at her cliché idea. I I know right. Lot was so embarrassed that she was red to her ears. Soon after the completion, the preparations are being done with the instruments and equipment needed for manufacturing and experimenting are ordered from their respective suppliers. Falma himself used the medicine guide staff to fly to quickly carry precision equipment while the large equipment is carried by carriages. He also used his substance creation ability. Although the interior is yet to be completed, the structure and facilities themselves are completed. Besides that, Falma asked the acting Lord of Marseille, Adam, to hire 200 factory workers locally. After most of the factory equipment was installed, Falma visited San Fluy Vampire Medicine Academy. He received several actinomycete strains from Professor Casper chosen explicitly for antibiotic production, and he will be transporting them for mass production. Professor Casper, who met with Falma, entrusts him three strains that she chose with confidence. She looked reluctant to part with them. I will be leaving them to you, Professor de Medici's. I hope that they would be of patience use. Falma who was being called as a professor is yet to get used to being addressed as such. But even so, he thought that it was thoughtless if he corrected her right now. I have certainly received them, Professor Casper. I will take responsibility for scaling up these strains and make them an antibiotic formulation. I promise that those medicines will be of patient's help. They are strains found with everyone's effort. I will leave them to you. Professor Casper seemed as if she was handing over her own child. The box was wrapped with a ribbon. And the following names were written on the box. Casper Chan No. 1, Eric Kuhn No. 2, Alexis Kuhn No. 3. Ellen suddenly asked Falma who was preciously holding the box entrusted to him by Professor Casper while they are being shaken by the carriage going. G to Marseille? What's this, who? She saw the three names written on top of the box. I think that it's the name of the strain of actinomycetes. The name of the discoverer and the order of discovery is written. Professor Eric and Assistant Alexis are also co-researchers of this research. Falma interpreted while thinking of the names of the researchers engaged in the research. A. Are bacteria also named? The name of the discoverer and the order it was discovered is written. Falma looked at the letter of explanation attached separately, and just like he thought, it was the name of the strains taken from Professor Casper and the other discoverers' names. That's an interesting way of naming it. What genial professors, Ellen laughed. And, well, I understand the feeling of using the names of the inventor on their inventions. I guess I should unify the nomenclature later. I wish they at least added a generic name. Just calling them Casper is fine too, since it was the names given by Professor Casper and the others, Zalma decided to give it a silent approval for the moment. Using the names of the discoverer is an honor as well as their privilege. And it was not like it needs to be like this. 
This is a different world, so there was no rule that it must follow a Earth style. And Falma himself, in his past life, had several new antibiotic strains of bacteria named after him. He named them according to the nomenclature, but he cannot tell Professor Casper that, and he understands how happy she is. That's true. This bacteria is special, right? I'm sure that they've put on many efforts to find and increase these bacteria. Ellen said so, telling compliments to Professor Casper. It's Professor Casper and her assistant's great accomplishment. By the way, where do bacterial strains exist? Wait a second. Falma smiled mischievously, asked the carriage to stop, got off, and walked towards the side of the road without hesitance. What? Are you peeing? Oh, what should I do? Ellen looked away. Falma rubbed off the surface of the ground using his shoes, picked up a handful of soil, and showed it Ellen after he returned to the carriage. Ellen who looked at the soil thought, don't tell me. Look, it's here. Eh? You're saying that it might be here? The bacterial strains? It's not might be. It's full of it. Falma moved the fingers of the hand he used to pick up the soil. Ellen felt her back turn itchy. He. How can you carry that, Falma Kuhn? Aren't you disgusted? It would seem that Ellen felt that way. She shivered in disgust. Falma threw away the soil and washed his hand with the water he created using divine arts and returned to the carriage. The carriage started to run again. Inside the carriage, Lot is comfortably sleeping while drooling. She would repeatedly say the usual, Falma Sama, I can't eat any more, Munya Munya, and I guess just a bit more after all. It would be better to just leave her like that. No, well, soil is like that. Many bacteria, fungi, and microorganisms live everywhere. Or perhaps I should say, even our skins have countless bacteria. By the way, those microorganisms has a purifying effect on soil, Falma explained. But, the strains that Professor Casper chose are especially excellent elites. Professor Casper and her helpers are looking forward to the extract of the active substance of the bacteria turning into medicine and be administered to patients. The following three is what Professor Casper and the others found. 1. Casper Chan hash 1 inch Casper, number 1 its scientific name on earth is Streptomyces griseus. Streptomycin producing microorganism candidate. Anti-tuberculous drug. Effective for tuberculosis, leprosy, bubonic plague, etc. 2. Eric Kuhn hash 2 inches. Eric number 2 its scientific name on earth is Streptomyces mediterranei. Rifamycin producing bacteria candidate. Semi-synthesized to rifampicin, effective for tuberculosis, leprosy, etc. 3. Alexis Kuhn number 3. Alexis number 3 its scientific name on earth is Streptomyces peucetius. Doxorubicin producing bacteria candidate. Anti-tumor agent malignant lympha, lung cancer, gastrointestinal cancer, breast cancer, bladder tumor, osteosarcoma, and a wide range of effects. Although Professor Casper and the others do not know the specific effects of those drugs, Falma knows. What an amazing effect. It sounds like a lie hearing that white plague, black plague, and even cancer can be cured. It's not a lie. Bacteria strains possess such power. Falma Kuhn or Professor Casper, how did you know those drugs can be made with those bacteria? How did you narrow it down to these three? If one were to ask how they were identified, find out that drug, it was not like Falma did a complicated analysis. Even one of his cheat abilities, the magnifying eyes, cannot see the structure of a compound. And so, he simply used his erasability. By using his erasability in a reverse way, it can also be used in distinguishing drugs. Falma chanted all the names of the antibiotic he knows and what disappeared is the drug. It is a very accurate way of identification. However, Falma was not satisfied with that. He thought that he must think of other inspection methods for the people of this world. Hey, how? Eh? Ah, that's still a secret. I'll tell you when the time is right. Falma had not prepared an answer to Ellen's simple question. What's with that? Don't treat me like a stranger in this topic. Tell me how. 
Ha ha, I'm sorry. He could only cover it up with a laugh. You, really, then, tell me if it's that time, okay? Well, anyways. It's amazing that Professor Casper and the researchers of the Medicine Academy could find this much. There are two antibacterial agents and one carcinostatic agent. Falma returned to the topic and showed how he was impressed. Although Falma and Professor Casper were the ones leading the team, they were able to find useful antibiotics in a short period. If Professor Casper had it researched individually, it would have taken tens of years. With this, even if I disappear, the people of this would have the means to fight against disease. Falma could not hold back his joy. The work he needs to do would probably decrease one by one from now on. However, he thought that he could not become too pleased by this. I need to make it reach the point where it can be mass-produced, Falma cheered. The whole academy took action, gathered many researchers for a single research, so it's really amazing. That was unprecedented, Ellen groaned. It was said that most of the researchers had interrupted their own research and participated. That was also something impossible. However, it changed to something like a treasure hunt. If they become the first one to discover, their name shall be bestowed. They were probably blinded by the honor they would receive. Having a medicine with your own name, I want it too. Ellen was mesmerized. She believes that she saw the determination of the San Fluy Vampire Medicine Academy in Bruno's seriousness. Even now, the Medicine Academy continues their big project of discovering bacteria that can produce other antibiotics. It is said that even the Norbots University of Medicine is focused on the movements of the Empire's Medicine Academy. You should just search for it. Search for Ellen Chan number 4 bacteria. I'll teach you how. Falma suggested to Ellen with a serious face. I'll search for something other than bacteria. Ellen who feels disgusted with bacteria waved her hands and immediately refused. That's very Ellen. Doing things like that the staff of the different world pharmacies spent a whole day traveling to Marseille and inspected the factory that was just completed. Its name is also called Different World Pharmacy Marseille Factory, which was named as it was. After passing through the front gates of the factory, Falma, Ellen, Lot, and Cedric was welcomed by Adam, the acting lord, and the one appointed to build the factory. Welcome Falma Sama. You must be tired after a long journey. Thank you for your arrangements, Adam San. Falma used his medicine guide staff to go back and forth between the Imperial Capital and Marseille, so he has seen the completion of the factory, but this is the first unveiling for the other staff. The factory that is built with stone, boasting a vast site area, had spread in front of their eyes. Whoa! This factory, it's so vast! Lot started saying things like she wants to run a whole lap around the factory from end to end, but stopped by Cedric telling her that she would get exhausted. Falma also couldn't let her do that because it would be three kilometers around the factory and it is not suitable to do it with her shoes right now. It looks like a little palace, amazing. It's more vast than Falmakin's mansion you know. Ellen also raised a voice of admiration. Being more vast than the site area of the de Medici's family's mansion, one could say that it is really impressive. There should be no other in this world where both the government and its people had created a production base with such a large scale, with pharmacies, medicine stores, and drug stores making medicine for their patients. After saying that, Ellen praised the Falma's achievements. It is such a fine thing. Cedric was also moved. Its exterior and facilities are the biggest among everything he had seen. After passing through the front yard of the pharmaceutical factory, they entered through the factory's entrance. B.E.U. Falma who was walking ahead burst out as soon as he entered. In the spacious entrance hall that one would see in hotels, there was the founder, Falma de Medici's real size bronze statue. What's this? This wasn't here a few days ago. Ellen and Lot giggled at Falma who desperately protested. Ah, it was donated by the Estark village. It was just completed recently. I placed it here, thinking that you would like it. The acting Lord Adam answered definitively. 
Adam said that there was gold donated from Miss Thark Village with a message please make the factory founder's bronze statue, so he ordered for it to be made. It's really a Thark Village. If it's them, they might do such thing, Falma thought feeling resigned. Falma Sama, please stand beside the bronze statue. Lot asked him and Falma stood beside it. The bronze statue was quite beautified. The hem of its white coat head looked like it flutters in the wind, while the statue is looking far ahead with crossed arms. Falma did the same pose as the statue. He also made a face. How is it? Falma asked the three while making a serious face. The statue looks more handsome. Ellen and Law looked at each other and Cedric smiled at him warmly. The founder staggered. That's none of your business. If there is their inconvenience being placed her, shall I order it to be brought to the factory's front garden? Adam said with concern. However, Falma himself thought that it is a bit pitiable if his own statue was left outside under the sun and rain. It's fine here. Leaving aside the jokes, they turned to look at the factory. The interior of the stone-built medicinal factory was divided into rooms for each production process, and is thoroughly cleaned and has its cleanliness kept as to eliminate dust. On top of that, Balma had cast his disease destruction sanctuary, beforehand, increasing its cleanliness furthermore. There would be bacteria strains going to be brought from now on, so Falma needs to be very careful when casting his holy field to not sterilize the actinoma seats and kill it. The professors that took care of the bacteria as if they were their children would be very very angry. Although there is no electrical system compared to the humble research facility of the different World Pharmacy and the Empire's Medicine Academy, it is considerably modernized. For the mass cultivation of actinoma seeds, a pharmaceutical manufacturing plant consisting of several large tanks and pipelines was necessary. For pilot plant tests, tests were conducted with harmless bacterial species at the Empire's Medicinal Academy. Currently, a large number of artisans and engineers are hired, building five plants. It would still take time before these plants to be completed and fully operational. The group came to the laboratory attached to the pharmaceutical factory inside the factory site. It is a research facility with an aseptic room. Professors Casper's bacteria, let me see. After entering the aseptic room after washing their hands, putting on gloves, and wearing clean clothes, Ellen said with a great interest. Lot and Cedric changed as well and watched them although they could not understand. I want to see it too. Let's open it. After wiping the box with alcohol, the pink ribbon was removed, and the box where Professor Casper's children were opened. What came out was six petri dishes. A plate planted with actinoma seed strain. After that was the test plate as the antibiotic. Planted in the middle of the egg or petri dish filled with bacteria was the various actinoma seeds. And as if to surround those actinoma seeds was a circle made of other bacteria. Actinoma seeds develop antibiotics that suppress the growth of other bacteria, creating an antibiotic production region called growth inhibition circle where other bacteria cannot grow. What's this circle? It's cool. Ellen understood what it meant and nodded. Right? Around here, why are fluffy ones not growing? It looks like Lot also found it strange. Ellen seems to have changed the way she looks at actinoma seeds. That was an ability that actinoma seeds acquired in the process of its evolution as a result of its struggle for existence. Around these circle, are the antibiotics being produced right at this moment? It's easy to tell since it can be seen with the naked eye. Ellen was impressed. That's right. From a third-person perspective, they were a weird group peeking at a plate with mold. However, they are inside the pharmaceutical factory, so there is no problem. Actinoma seats are really great, huh? Ellen looked at them fervently. We will increase this bacteria to large quantities and extract and purify antibiotics therefrom. After Falma spoke, Lot continued his words. By doing that, we can make medicine for everyone who's troubled. What Lot who jumped in excitement said was exactly they plan to do. That's right. We are going to make a lot of medicine from now on. Now using my cheat powers, but using the powers of the people of this world, Falma braced himself. 
It was the first step to establishing pharmaceutical technology in this world.